Hello and welcome to Max Date Per Category. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. Jeff, how do I see the max date for each vendor, assuming each vendor has multiple dates? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Let's go to the first exercise. Exercise one. In this table, we have a bunch of transactions and each vendor may have multiple transactions. In other words, multiple dates. And the question is really, Jeff, for each vendor, how do we get the most recent transaction? In other words, the max date by vendor. As with anything in Excel, there are multiple ways to do this. In this first exercise, we're gonna use a pivot table. Insert pivot table. I wanna place the report on an existing worksheet. I pick a cell and I click okay. I wanna see the most recent transaction by vendor. So I'm gonna insert vendor into the rows layout area. Now I wanna see the max date. So I'm gonna insert date into this values layout area. By default, I'm getting the count, but it's easy to change that aggregate function. In other words, it's easy to change the function from count to something else, like sum, min, or max. So what I can do is I can go down to count of date, value field settings, and I can pick a different function. Here I want max, so I click okay. And what I see are these like, strange values. What are these? Those are date serials. So to view the dates instead of these date serials, all we need to do is change the cell formatting. So I can select these cells, go to home, and I can pick a short date format. In this context, a grand total doesn't really make sense. So what I can do is head to the design tab, go to grand totals, and say off. And this is one way to get the most recent transaction date for each vendor. In other words, max date by vendor. Now let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Let's say I didn't want to use a pivot table for some reason, and instead I wanted to use a formula-based approach. The first step is to get a unique list of vendors. One way to do that is to control C copy, and then we're just gonna paste values. And then I'm gonna to head to the data tab and I'm going to remove duplicates and I'll click okay. And that's one way to create a unique list of the vendors found in this table. Now we wanna find the max date for each vendor. Equals max ifs. And what I wanna say is I wanna get the max value from this column, comma, but I only wanna include those rows where the vendor, comma, is equal to our vendor. Close the function and enter. Let's go ahead and fill this down. Once again, I get these date serials, and once again, I can simply change the formatting, home, short date, and got it. And let's see if this agrees with our pivot table. TRI002 is 817. Let's cruise back over here. TRI002, 817. MER333 is 111. MER333 is 11.1. So this is another option, the max ifs function. But what if I wanted to automate getting this column of vendors? In other words, instead of copying and pasting and use remove duplicates, can't I just get Excel to like create this list automatically? We can, and let's do that in the next exercise. Exercise three. So instead of doing a copy paste and then remove duplicates, we're gonna use the unique function equals unique. And here we're just gonna give it our column. Close function and enter. And the unique function returns a unique list of all the vendors it finds in this column, even when there are new vendors added. Now let's get the max date. Once again, we'll use the max ifs function, and we wanna get the maximum value from this column, comma. We only wanna include those rows where the vendor, comma, is equal to, and instead of just pointing it to F9, we actually want to select this entire spill range. A couple of ways to do that. One way is just to type the spill reference operator hash manually, or we could just select this entire range. Either way is fine. Close function, and now we can see we have these results. And if we spot check these, these are the same results as the previous exercises. Now what's nice about this option is it's fully dynamic. So if I have a new value like 1-1-20-30 and a new vendor, like JEF 100, the unique function is automatically gonna pull in the new vendor, and the max ifs function is gonna automatically include the new vendor as well. So those are three ways to get the most recent transaction for each vendor. In other words, the max date per vendor. We used a pivot table, we used the max ifs function, and then we used some dynamic arrays. Hopefully this is helpful. Thanks for joining me, have a great day. Hey Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table, and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 